An officer is injured and two people are in custody tonight following a police chase during the morning rush on I-595. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at the Pembroke Pines Police Department with the latest on what happened here. Ted? Hey, Elliot. Well, just a little while ago, we got the specifics on what happened and what a wild ordeal. This all began at Century Village, just a retirement community here in Pembroke Pines. That's where an officer was dragged by a speeding car for about a half a mile. It was shortly after that that the chase began. A dramatic chase from Pembroke Pines to Davie, a car weaving in and out of traffic on the shoulder and finally to a crawl when the driver got stuck in rush hour traffic. Police boxed him in. Investigators dragged Thomas Cabrera out of the car, placing him into custody. They also pulled a woman from the passenger seat. The whole thing began around 8.30 in Century Village, the retirement community, when Cabrera is accused of dragging a police officer who was trying to stop his car. One of our officers responded to a call for service this morning within the Century Village community, and while there, the officer was dragged by a vehicle that was being driven by an individual and occupied by a second person. Police tell us the officer was dragged half a mile at high speeds after he reached into the car to shut it off. He was able to release himself from the vehicle and roll away as the car was about to race out the exit of Century Village. Our officer was transported to Memorial Regional Hospital. At this time, I've been advised that he does not have any life-threatening injuries, uh, but we're still waiting to receive additional information. Investigators say that officer first came into contact with Cabrera and his passenger in this area of the parking lot. Security called police saying the two were asleep in the car and there was a clear bag with a substance in it. Security was concerned of an overdose. When the officer arrived, investigators say Cabrera woke up, put the car in gear and tried to leave. The Pines officer then reached into the car trying to stop it, and that's when investigators say he took off with the officer dragging along with him. Now, that officer's name has not been released yet, and we should find out more about his injuries in a little while. He is awaiting surgery at the moment. As for Cabrera, he is charged with attempted murder of a police officer. He's also facing a bunch of other charges as well. Meanwhile, the name of that passenger has not been released. Live in Pembroke Pines, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.